right, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines, and probably that's something you've heard of before, I would imagine. Um, parallel lines, there's a picture here underneath these three lines. Parallel lines are lines that never meet. Um, so in other words, they don't intersect. I'm actually trying to think of what the, what the third thing was that I had to say here about parallel lines. Um, so they never meet. They stay the same distance apart the whole time. Maybe that was it. Maybe I'll think of it later if it's not that. And then the third thing about them, which is going to be significant to us here in algebra, where we're writing equations of the line, of a line, I mean, is that if I look at right here, it's a little hard because the grid lines are, are not super great here. But if I look at the slope, the rise over the run for these two lines, I get the same slope. And so that's going to be true for any parallel lines you have. They have to have the same slope or they wouldn't be parallel because that would mean one was going up faster than the other. And so they'd intersect somewhere. So that's the third thing here. They have the same slope. So that's cool. Perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a right angle, not a wrong angle. Sorry, I'm very sorry about that. In a right angle, in case you're like, uh, I know what that's supposed to be, but I can't remember, that's a 90 degree angle. We like 90 degree angles as human beings. We use them a lot like in our houses and stuff or your piece of paper probably has a corner that is a right angle. Um, so right here, I can make a mark with uh, that looks kind of like a square and that means, hey, this is a right angle. And because that one's a right angle, this is kind of a preview to geometry, because that one's a right angle, all of them actually have to be a right angle. And so the other thing that happens here that we might want to know about is that the slopes also have a connection to each other. It's just not the same connection as parallel lines. Parallel lines are great. They're the exact same slope. Perpendicular lines, it's actually a little bit more interesting. Um, if you look at this rise and this run, I think it's up to over three. And if I look at this rise and this run, it's down three, right two. So we've got two thirds versus negative three halves. And so think about what the connection here is. These two slopes are opposite signs of each other. One's a positive, one's a negative. And then one of them is the flip of the other. We call that a reciprocal. So two thirds and negative three halves are opposite reciprocals. Whew, say that 10 times fast. So what are we gonna do with this? Well, today we're actually gonna start off really, really um, basic and just try to tell whether each pair of slopes is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And there's not, I, I didn't go over what neither means. Basically, you know, if you think about it, there are other options than having parallel lines or perpendicular lines. And those would be lines that meet at something other than a right angle, but do in fact meet. So when I do this, I kind of think of it as a process of elimination because parallel is the easiest one to see. Um, parallel, they have to have the exact same slope. So on one, those aren't the exact same, so it's not parallel. Then I check to see if they're opposite, opposite, opposite reciprocals. And that might mean that I have to make one of them a fraction. So I can think, okay, what's the flip of three? What's the flip of three over one? That's one third. These are different signs. So these are opposite reciprocals, and that means this one is perpendicular. So then we look at the second one, and I'm gonna do the same process. If it has the same slope for each, it's parallel. And they do, they're both one half, so that is parallel. 
uh, whoops, uh, parallel, parallel. Uh, number three has two fifths and five halves. Well, those aren't the exact same, so they're not parallel. They're reciprocals of each other, but they're both positive. And so that means they're not perpendicular. One of them would have to be negative and the other positive in order for that to work. And so our option here that's left is neither. So these two lines, they intersect somewhere, but it's apparently not at a right angle because they don't have the right slopes for that. So we write neither. And then what we're going to do in the next lesson, which will be in week nine, is we are going to um, actually find equations of lines based on them being parallel or perpendicular to another line. So get excited for that if you want to. No pressure. And bye.